Today I'm opening up some blind boxes from my childhood. So this is a very nostalgic blind box opening for me as we have items from Animal Crossing, which I played a lot as a kid. We also have some from classic Nicktoons. And even though some of these are revamped into the new style, we definitely had My Little Pony when I was a kid and we had Little's Pet Shop, though those are completely different now. And then I also have Puppy in My Pocket, which were around when I was a kid as well. So the first couple I'm going to open up are from Mayview here on YouTube. We did a swap a couple of months ago and I opened up her package and she wrapped all of these individually. So I just did a whole video on that and I opened up one there if you guys are interested. But today I'm going to be actually opening up a couple more that she sent in that package. So the first one is from the Littlest Pet Shops. I have never opened up any of these before so I'm not sure if these are all of the choices that you can get because it does say numbers 93 through 116 and we're only showing 8 here and there is like 23 or so in between that number, 23, 25 maybe if you count the actual numbers, I'm not quite sure math this morning is eluding me. Or you can look here and it says collect all 24 pets. So there's probably 24 different varieties that you can get. So obviously not all of them are shown, but I do like the little kitties here and the squirrels are pretty adorable as well. So let's just open it up and see which one I get. Maybe I will get one that is not on the packaging and I don't think there is a rip tag anywhere, so I'm going to have to cut this one open. I got a card, which maybe this will show you all of them that you could get. Or it'll just repeat the same ones. So here is the full set. So if I had to choose out of these, I'm hoping for the kitties still. The puppies are pretty cute. And the little skunks, I think they are up there, are also pretty adorable. But let's see which one I got. And it kind of looks like that squirrel right there on the front. And it is! Though I think it's facing the other direction. So that's interesting. And it comes with a camera. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that was a camera. So that's cool. I'm happy about the little accessory piece. And also some sort of knitted hat. So let's put her together. I'm not quite sure how this one works. Okay, so there's a hole there, so I'm going to assume that this piece has to go in there. As you can tell, this is super easy. I don't know if it's just because I'm trying to do it through a camera lens that I can't seem to get this on, or if this is just really difficult. It shouldn't be this difficult. It is one little peg and one little hole, or maybe it doesn't even snap and it just kind of sits there casually. So I was able to get her hat on. It does click right in, so it'll stay. It's just a little difficult, as I said, to do it through the camera's view lens. But here is just what she looks like all set up. So the next one I'm going to open is also from Mayview, and this is the Puppy in My Pocket series. When I was a kid, I don't know if they came in blind bags, but you could definitely collect all these little tiny puppies which you can see here, and there are a lot of different options. Now, oh gosh, I don't even know. It's hard to even tell what some of these are. Like, my favorite dog breeds would probably have to be a chocolate lab, because I currently have a cute little chocolate lab named Molly. And I also really like pugs. Like, I love them growing up, so I wouldn't mind a pug. And if that is a Rottweiler, I definitely want the Rottie. I also really like Shiba Inus and Corgis. Those are like trending lately. So I would be happy if I got one of those. But there are so many here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get anything I want. Because I'm unlucky like that. But let's just see. And here is the card first. And on here, let's see. So here are some of them that you can get. Very cute. Um, are those the only options? Oh no, there's definitely more on the back. Were these like special or anything? Exclusive pups. And then we have all of the ones here that are probably more easy. 
And so far I'm not really seeing any dogs that were on my top list. Ooh, rare pups. All right. Oh, an ultra rare Jazzy. Well, we'll see which one I get. Oh, oh, they're so soft. I don't know which one I got though, but they're pretty cute. Oh, look at the little tail. And I didn't realize they were going to be fuzzy. I think when I was a kid, they were just kind of rubbery, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't have any left when I was a kid, so I'm not quite sure. But I also think their eyes have been updated. I don't quite remember such realistic looking eyes. So it looks like I got one of the regular ones, and it is Digby, a Parson Russell Terrier. So that's pretty cute. So next up, I will be doing the My Little Pony one. And this looks to be series five of these super squishy ponies, which will be really fun to play with. I'm super tactile and I love just going around and like touching things in stores. I'm one of those people. So this should be fun. But out of these ones, I'm hoping for Fluttershy because that's my favorite pony out of the new series. They're in easy rip tab here. Yes, there is. All right. And of course, I make it the most complicated it could possibly be. All right, so let's see. Which one did I get? Oh my gosh. Wait, no, it's not Fluttershy. Oh, I was kind of hoping that it was, but it was just a little bit off because it's orangey instead of yellowish. But it has a diamond cutie mark. So that is definitely not Fluttershy. It's not the best quality because I feel like there's a little bit of loose pieces here of just kind of this rubbery stuff. So kind of probably squeezed out of the mold, but it's still pretty cute and it's just super squishy. It's like a stress ball, I guess you could use it for if you really wanted to. Come and ride my pony. Okay, that's gross. Why did I do that? I don't know. And the next blind bag that I have is of Nicktoons and they are little key ring figures and I am super, super excited to open this up. I hope I get one of my favorite characters. I grew up on Nicktoons as I'm sure many of you did. If you didn't, then I'm just showing my age right now. But my childhood was all about Ren and Stimpy and um, we actually had a video game for Avril Monsters. I love Ickis, he's my favorite, so I would be so happy if I got Ickis as well. And then there's Reptar, which again, I would want so hard. And then Cat Dog or even Rocco. I know Dan would love Arnold and I mean, Chucky, I, I, he's one of my least favorite out of this pack. I loved Rugrats growing up, but I would so much rather for a different character and then Spongebob kind of came out when I was getting a little older and I did watch it all the time But it just does not have as much meaning for me as the other shows So I don't think I'd really be upset with any of these But I, I really hope for like one of these three on the side here Those would be my top picks and it looks like this one does not have a rip tag either So I will just cut open the top Hopefully I don't cut into anything. I see something kind of orange and I almost think it's cat dog. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, yes! Ah! I'm so happy. I got Ren from Ren and Stimpy. And if you guys know anything about this show, it was totally inappropriate for children. But I loved it so much. And even my parents for a while banned us from watching it because it just got so extreme with violence and dirty jokes and everything. But I couldn't get enough of this show. So I am so happy that I got Ren. I'm actually more of a Stimpy fan, but Stimpy wasn't a choice. And you can't have Stimpy without Ren anyways. So I'm totally in love with this and I'm so happy that I got Ren. Oh my gosh, look at him. I love his little like weird winky face too, you know. And a lot of the anime figures that I get, the winky face is so cute. But this one, it's just so kind of deformed, but it's so Ren. Oh, so happy about this. Yay! And I saved possibly the best for last. And it is an Animal Crossing's keychain figure. And as you can tell, I did get it from GameStop. They had it only at one of the GameStops near me. So not all of them, I think, are carrying these. 
but if you do have several game stops around you and just need to have these like I did then definitely just go around and check to make sure and see if they have them I don't know if you can get them online I haven't even checked but enough with the rambling about where to get them I love Animal Crossing it is one of my favorite sort of just laid-back cutesy kind of games I started with the first one on the GameCube it was like a random pickup my dad had and it turned out to be a game that the whole family played a lot and I am just in love with the characters so we have some old and some new because Isabel is only from the more current generations but here are all of the choices that you could possibly get and my top pick is KK Slider he has always been my favorite and we even had a dog that was nicknamed KK but I would also love to have bladders this one does have a pull tab thank you you guys make it so much easier when you guys do that and let's see which one did I get oh it's like super blind so we'll try again I got blathers so happy so so happy so here is blathers and they do come with these little plastic keychains which I'm not always a huge fan of because I just feel that they're kind of cheap and that they're easy to break kind of don't really trust it to go on backpacks and stuff but the figure itself is really nice like it's got a little bit of weight to it it is all plastic but it's a really nice strong plastic these little pieces are a little bit bendy but the wing doesn't really bend at all so it's a nice sturdy piece and the paint job on this as well is also really nice totally worth the six dollars that I paid for it and again if you are a huge Animal Crossing fan I would not pass these up but Blather stands up so he can be displayed in two different ways either hanging from a backpack or another hook or something or he can stand up but he is kind of wobbly so if it's not on a stable surface he's gonna fall over a lot so here are all of my spoils from my first nostalgia blind box opening from all of these series when I was a little girl I am so happy with the ones that I received. If you're a fan of these types of blind boxes, be sure to stay for part two, where I'll be opening up many of these same series. So we'll see if I can get some other ones of my favorites or even like a rare one or something like that. We'll see. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye Pika Blues.